What? What is this nonsense? Why are you going everywhere insulting me? For what? Why would you go to my in-law to ask them to, to, to give you the motorbike that I bought with my own money? Did I even say to you that I want to start on Okada business? Eh? Is it not you that I'm talking to, Mama? Mama, please, let today be the first and last time you do such a thing. Ah? Is it because times are hard for me? Please, I don't like it at all. Alright, no problem. Don't, just try, try it again. Is it because times are hard for me or, or what? What nonsense? From the same state, yes. That's why I take you as my sister. You're an IT student. I expect that what should occupy your mind is to concentrate on your job here. And after here, you go back to school and finish your program. Okay? I'm sorry, sir. Uh, Paul, um, have you finished the documentation? Yes, sir. Mama? Mama? It's in Dubisi now. Do you recognize me? Dubisi? Hey! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Mama! How? Dubisi? Mama, how are you? <laughs> Mama! What a long time. How are you? Mama, stop this. Why are you crying? Hey. Come, 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 come. Let me take you home. Come, come. Just come in front. Uh, Ifa Adigo? Ifa is fine. He is now in the village. In the village? What happened? It's a long story, my son. We'll discuss that when we get home. Anyway, what about my Esther? I hope she comes to see you. Uh, oh, yes. Why then? 
Fadigo. Mama? Ife. What is this? Mama, listen, let me tell you. You cost it all. Yes. First of all, you forced me to marry a man I did not love just because of money. Secondly, you sent Bodan BC out of this house. Thirdly, you forced Esther to marry Bodan Fadigo. Mama, all because of your love for money. Are you now happy? Are you happy? If you don't shut up now, I'll shut it for you. You dare not, Mama. You dare not. If I do it, what will you do? Mama, I will tell you how bitter we are because of the mess that you have put all of us into in this house. What? Did I send it to go and sell fake drugs? No, you did not. You made me believe that making money is the most important thing. It doesn't matter how I make it. Yes. Is it wrong to make money? Is it wrong? Oh my God. Mama. You are not going to call me with Yes. Ah! Ah! Hey! 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 Some of your needs. Let's go. Okay. Isn't this too much? One thousand. Just manage it. By the time I come back, <laughs> this dear, eh? And stop crying. Look, I love you so dearly. Hey, she. Oh, your wife is okay. Okay, thank God. Uh, how about the baby? I, I hope he's okay. Um, unfortunately, we lost the baby. Please. No, you'll take it easy. Please, doctor. Calm down. Doctor, the woman is bleeding from her nose. You mean the woman in the world? Please. Doctor, take it easy. Please, try and see what you can do for me, please. You know how times are for me right now. And how difficult it was for me to raise money to discharge my wife. 
doctor, please. Where am I going to get this kind of money from? 45,000 is so much. Please. Uh, you know, we still have to conduct series of tests on her to determine if she has hemorrhage, internal bleeding. You know? So you must have to be very fast about it. Provide this money, we need it. It's in your own interest too to avoid any unforeseen circumstances. Yes, sir. Um, Talma, how are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Sir, I came to tell you that I'm through with my IT and I'll be leaving for Enugu tomorrow. <sighs> Talma, I must say that you have shown yourself a very decent and a very hardworking young girl. The company really appreciates your stay here. I wish you well in all your future endeavors. Sir, I want to thank you for everything you've done for me. You've changed my life in more ways than one. I truly do appreciate it. Thank you for not taking advantage of me. I'll miss you. <laughs> Tell me. Sit down. Are you sure she's going to be all right? And um, definitely she's going to be fine. Please do what you have to do. We are trying our best. You know, series of tests will be conducted to ascend if she suffers hemorrhage. So we we'll need some money. She's still there. She has not regained consciousness. Oh, but she's still alive. Yes, she's alive now. She's breathing. She's still breathing. Uh -huh. Have you seen Uncle James? No, why? Uncle James would like to see you. Yes, sir. Um, Talma, how are you? Fine, thank you, sir. Sir, I came to tell you that I'm through with my IT and I'll be leaving for Enugu tomorrow. <sighs> Talma, I must say that you have shown yourself a very decent and a very hardworking young girl. The company really appreciates your stay here. I wish you well in all your future endeavors. Sir, I want to thank you for everything you've done for me. You've changed my life in more ways than one. 
I truly do appreciate it. Thank you for not taking advantage of me. I will miss you. Tell me. Yes, Sit down. I pray that you would love this. I would love and cherish anything that comes from you. Thank you very much. Esther. Yes. I love you. I love you too. I want you to promise me. Which is? That you will always be there for me. Is that all? That is all. Then you have nothing to worry about because I'll always be there for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know for now, but I will send for Ndubis. Uncle, I don't think Ndubis will come based on the way I've treated him in the past. No, he will come. Leave that to me. Huh? Don't worry, just make sure she feels very well. Huh? Let me go home first. Okay. He will come. Adigo thinking will not solve this problem. You can't just sit here and think all day. It won't do anything. What we need to do now is put heads together and find how we're going to raise this money. If you ask me, I think this is the time we need him to be seen. You, you, you need to beg him. How can you say such a thing? Not in my life, God forbid, me to go begging the reason. You have to. Mama cannot just be in the hospital when we have means of raising the money. Please, 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 just spare me. I'm not in the mood for all this at all. I need some time to myself. Please, I beg you. Oh. God. What do I do right now? I am so confused. How can I face my brother? After all I did to him. What if anything happens to Mama? What would the world say to me? Because I caused her illness. God help me, I'm so confused. I'll see you. Now the reason. You just have to let go of these things, okay? I mean, behaving like one that just lost the family wouldn't do you any good. Oh, see, this was a girl that I loved. This was a girl that I cherished. This was a girl that I wanted to marry. <clears throat> I love what you just said right now. You wanted or you intended to marry. But you never did. So she's not. I mean, she may not have been the right woman for you. And there are a thousand and one women out there. So it's just left for you to go and make your choice. Oh, see. You don't seem to understand. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> now listen to me, see. I think I understand this more than you do. 
You don't have to take this as one of those things in life. Okay? Come on, cheer up. Life goes on. Are you going to the market? No. Did you forget that today is in Kwa? No, I did not forget. It's just that I was busy at home. Uh -huh. Let me just run along. Uh, my dear, I heard what happened though. Uh, please accept my sympathy. Uh, I believe that God will give her a child that will stay. Uh, all you need to do is to believe in him. Eh? Just believe in God. He will do it. Thank you very much, Manuma. Thank you. God bless you. Huh? As I told you, I'm late. Let me just run along. Eh? If I did go, Papa. I called you here not just to talk to you as an uncle but also as a father. Because our people say that an elder does not sit and watch a go deliver in the tethers. Since you have problem with your business and other things, you have been idle here in the village. And it's not proper for a young man. So I suggest that you find something doing. At least you feed from there while we await your mother's return from the hospital. Well, thank you very much. Um, You're welcome. I've heard all you said, and I'm going to act on it. That's good. But let me be going home now. Thank you. All right. When you reach home, greet your wife for me. But yeah, Papa, she was here. All right. Love you. known before now, I'm sure I would have made it better. I thought everything was working out for me well. Entered into a wrong business. Adulterated drugs just to make money without thinking the consequences to my people. My words got into my head. I started disrespecting everybody around me, including my eldest brother. I do treated drugs just to make money without thinking the consequences to my people. My words got into my head. I started disrespecting everybody around me, including my eldest brother. Now look at me. See where I've ended up. It is not right to do the wrong things because you want to make money for your selfish purposes. It is absolutely not right to insult people who are poor because you think you are rich. Good, good afternoon, ma. I came to collect the money for the job that I did for you. Which money? The job you did or the job you did not do? No, if you are in doubt, follow me to the farm and I will show you you did not do it well. 
So if you want your money, go and do it well and come and take your money. Or, or forget it. If I hadn't told me such a thing, we'd have just kept quiet, eh? Let me see, why would you take such a decision to abandon your mother in the hospital? No matter what, she's still your mother. Oh, see, whatever a man sows, he reaps. That woman is just getting the reward of what she has done. No, to be see, that word is too strong for you to use. She's still your mother. Oh, good Lord, come off it. No. See, you don't truly understand what that woman made me to pass through in the village. That woman, she made me, she made me feel like a bastard. You know you. Ndubisi, life is full of ups and downs. And that's why you're a man. You're a man, you have to stand and take it. Listen, you have many brothers and sisters, but you only have one mother. Nothing will ever change the fact that Onyema is still Mama Ndubisi. You know what? Yeah. If you want the truth from my heart, I don't care if that woman goes. No. The wages of sin is death. No. She just has to face it. No. She just has to face it. No. She just has to face it. No, 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 no. You don't repay evil with evil, okay? No matter what. Think about yesterday and think about where you are right now. She's still your mother, okay? I understand, okay? You just come and sit down. So, um, how is your sister? How is her health? My brother, I thank God though. She's responding to treatment. Oh, responding already. Right, thank God. Yeah, all this malaria, typhoid, and. Uh... My brother, it's not easy. Ross, good, Ross. Day, good afternoon. We are greeting now. Ross! <laughs> sister, I, I bought this minera. From you two weeks ago, and I gave you hundred naira. So I, I'm returning my bot your bottle now, so that I can take my change, fifteen naira. Two weeks ago. Yes, my brother. Something is happening in this life. What is it? A lot of things are happening. What now? What is it? Uh, but is your bottle now? I can't lie because of fifteen naira. Right now, his mother is in the hospital. He cannot afford the hospital bills. My brother, that is more. I heard that he is the cause of all the whole problems. Yes, in their family. He is the cause. I think so. Mother in the hospital. Wife lost her baby just because of one person. That child is evil. <laughs> that child is evil. No wonder whenever you see that this, this one will be driving a big car. This one be <laughs> Who even knows that they are armed robbers? My Rob brother. My brother, that is small. Ha! Yeah. Huh. I thank God the way I am, oh, the day my luck shines. So we enjoy. It. Uh -huh.
Our food is ready. I don't know why. Papa. I Papa, what is it? Jem, my dear. I don't understand why NDBC should not come home and see the sick mother in the hospital. Eh? Oh, she promised to inform you the moment he got back to Patakot. But up till now, I've not heard from any of them. Papa, that shouldn't bother you. I believe Brother Ntubis will come back because he cannot run away from his father's house. Please, should I get you your food? Please do. Farigo, look at what you have done to yourself. You have no reason to want to take your own life. Eh? We're talking about your mother in the hospital. Look at what you have caused now. Or is it because of the 45,000 naira to be paid in the hospital? Obviously, we'll come back and pay the money, I'm sure. No problem. Everything is in control. You sure? Oh, see. Ah, welcome. Papa. Papa, good afternoon. Really? Thank God you are back. Home. Sorry. No problem. Take her in. Take her in. Welcome inside. Sorry for all the things that I've done to you. I know that I've wronged you beyond pardon. But please, for the sake of our mother that is alive today, I beg you to forgive me. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Brother. 
To err is human. To forgive is divine. Brother, if Adigo and Mama have realized their mistake and they've apologized, please forgive them. Forgive them so that we can all live as one good, happy family again. Please. <coughs> if Adigo, I thank God you've learned your lessons from all that has happened to you. And you can see that nothing in this life is permanent. And as the saying goes, good name is greater than silver or gold. I thank God for what is happening here today. <clears throat> My children, I thank God for a moment like this. Let's leave all that has happened to history. The most important thing is to ensure that your mother is taken to Enugu for the operation. Um, Ndobisi, everything falls on your shoulders and you can't shy away from them. No matter what happens, she is your mother. Your mother is your mother. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I believe every one of us here has learned his or her lessons. Let us not dwell in the past. I want all of us to forge ahead as one big and happy family. Ndubisi, please. I, I don't know what else to say. Just forgive and forget. We've all learned our lessons. I'm very sorry. I have forgiven everybody. And I want to use this opportunity to introduce to you all someone who is very dear to my heart. Miss Thelma Wasakwe. <laughs> See that? These are my family members. Yes, you already know the three. Uh, but this is my uncle. Mm -hmm. Then this is my younger brother, Ifadigo. Mm. Yes, and this is Ifadigo's wife. You're welcome, my daughter. Thank you. Sir. Welcome, my child. Welcome. 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 <laughs> the pleasure is mine. Yeah. <laughs> If you 
don't have money, you're as good as dead.